Let me show you how to connect Xcard 5.1 with Xpayments 2.1. There are two ways how to add an Xpayments payment method in Xcard 5. The first one is add store setup payment methods. You click add a payment method and get to payment gateways page. There you need to find an Xpayments payment method you require. For example, first data this time. Click Choose button and get to Welcome tab of Experiments Connect to Settings page that suggests what to do next. Another way is to go straight to Extensions Installed Modules and find Experiments Connect a module there. Click Settings link. Now we need to open Experiments Admin Backend and make necessary configurations there. First of all, we need to configure Payment Gateway at Xpayments Dashboard Payment Configuration section. Choose a Payment Gateway you are going to use in this drop-down select box and click Add. Enter all the configuration parameters needed and make sure you enable this payment configuration. Then go to Settings Online Stores. Click Add New Store. Specify store name, store title, and others prefix. Now set templates to be used by Xcard. The first one is for desktop based shoppers. Just select the one that suits your online checkout routine best of all. Then set up template for mobile shoppers and template for shoppers who have 3D secure protection enabled. Enable one or more payment integrations from the list of configured gateways. Click Save. Please do not forget to enable your shop in Xpayments dashboard. Now it is time to copy so called configuration bundle. Just click the copy button in connection section. Ok, it is time to finalize connection at Xcard 5 dashboard now. Go to connection tab of Xpayments connector settings page, paste the configuration bundle copied from Xpayments dashboard earlier and click deploy button. We are almost all set and ready. Payment methods have been imported from Xpayments and all you need to do is to enable them. If your payment method supports tokenization in Xpayments, you can enable PCI compliant credit card saving in your shop here too. Now let's have a look at other configuration sections of Xpayments connector. Order status mapping rules allows you to match Xcard order statuses with Xpayments transaction statuses. At Save Credit Card Setup tab, you can set the payment method you want your customers to use when they save a credit card in their front-end accounts, authorization amount for such transactions, and short text you want your customers to see in their credit card statements when they save a credit card. Click Submit to save configuration you've just made. Configured X payments methods appear at Store Setup Payment Methods. You can also enable use a safe credit card payment method in your checkout routine, so your customers will be able to pay for orders using credit cards they saved in their front-end user accounts, and when they placed other orders through Xpayments. If you want Xpayments credit card form to appear embedded in your shop checkout, you need to enable use iframe option at connection tab of Xpayments connector settings page. At the same time, you need to set iframe template for your shop at Xpayments admin backend. That's it, now you're all set and ready to process payments in your Xcard 5 shop using Xpayments.